learners, it's January 6th, and I want to show you how you guys can grow citrus in Zone 7B, previously Zone 7A. I want to show you what like, we have. We have a blood orange, which we're going to be trying today for our first time. We're going to be trying this one. I think it's almost ripened. It's not as dark orange as some other ones that I have seen, but we're still going to give it a try and see how it tastes. So this is what we have, the blow orange, and we have this color, let me see. Color and this, well, I think it was this one. This one is a, it's a thornless key lime. This one died all the way down, and I was talking to my husband one day outside, I was telling him how we're just gonna put something else in here a week later we start seeing sprouting and look at it now. So I'm happy I did not throw it away. This one here, I got a Costco, and it's three in one, is the Tornus Key Line. We also got a Persian Line, and we got the popular Improved Mayor Lemon. This one has, uh, has some flowers. This one, the Mayor Lemon has a small lemon, I had an, it had two, but I was cleaning and I was, we were putting fertilizer and I accidentally broke it. But we're gonna taste it later in the video so you guys can see. And this one right here is a small uh, blood orange. So I wanna show you upstairs what we had. This ones were upstairs, but since we're sowing uh, seeds, so we moved it downstairs. We're gonna put a grow light here. We're setting up everything, but I wanna show you guys what we have and then we'll go upstairs. Right here we have our older uh, Meyer lemon. This one is about three years old with us. And the first year it dropped all the lemons. This year we have se seven lemons. So we're excited to try it. I'm not sure if we're gonna taste it today, but I want to show how pretty it is. And you guys can go citrus in zone 7B. And this one is our real red grapefruit. This is our first year. I got this at Home Depot. And this just gave out the first flowers. We're gonna be hand pollinating them when we see the males and the females. So it's gonna be exciting to taste it. It's been three years, it's exciting. Don't forget to disinfect and here I go. It's pretty exciting because when you grow your own food, it's a different feeling. So thank you guys for watching. Let's try this now. This broad orange is not as bright and red as the other ones, but like I said, this is our first harvest. So we're still gonna have to see how next year and other years. So I wanna see how it tastes. This is so good. This is amazing. This is the mayor lemon. It looks beautiful inside. And this is the one I accidentally cut. Oh, it looks pretty. We'll Juicy. taste it. So. We're gonna be tasting it. Let me try the blood orange. Wow. So sweet. A little bit acidity, but very good. I'm really a sour person, but I like lemonade, but not too sweet, not too sour. So I'm gonna be tasting. Still want to taste it, so. It's good. It's just not a fan of real sour. And so this, this sweet is sour. This, okay, so I know lemon is supposed to be sour. That's just me. Obviously, I'm happy we have this. It's pretty good. This one is way too sour. Obviously, I cut it. I accidentally, accidentally um, broke it. But it was small. It was ripened. It's the first time it's, it gives us lemon. So hopefully next year we'll get something better like this one. This one is amazing. Still a little sour, but it's very sweet. And I'm just so excited that next year we have, we'll have something better. Because the older it gets, the better it gets. So thank you so much. 
Okay, so Rolando, he likes, he loves sour. Yeah, I'm the sour guy here. Is it, this is um, Mayer lemon? Okay. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect sour flavor. And this one right here. Oh yeah, this is, I think this needs a little more time. It needs to be perfect. Okay, so you guys saw how when we tasted this and like I said, this is, isn't as red as other ones. And I have tried this from the store before. It's nothing close to this one. So I'm so happy. And obviously the lemon is still really good. And if you guys, this hopefully this inspires you guys to grow citrus in your zones. All you have to do is like, you know, when it's hot enough outside, you take them outside. And then when all the cold comes, bring them inside. But this is, they all look so beautiful and healthy. And I hope that we're doing a great job. We're still gonna have a few more, probably we're gonna be adding a, several more to our collection because after tasting this, I'm so happy that we are, it, nothing tastes like you grow your own food and the accomplishments that you, you feel it's something else. So I hope you guys, if you guys decide to grow some citrus in your zones, please comment down below. I would appreciate if you guys can support our channel by subscribing and liking and commenting and sharing with your friends and family is greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next video. We're working in the backyard. We have a lot of work to do and hopefully you guys can see the progress and thank you so much for watching and hope you have a wonderful weekend.